Hey guys, I'm back. Um, update on ordering the differential glasses. I have not yet ordered them, but I am this close to determining what I think the prescription should be for them and then hopefully placing the order soon online uh, through either Zenny's or iBuyDirect or some uh, website like that. Um, I have been holding off, trying to gather more information, get some more input from the NMyobia community, uh, even from Jake himself. And I also stumbled across a video on YouTube um, made by a girl named Leah who has been doing her own uh, vision improvement journey using NMyobia for the last year and a half or so. And she's made some super awesome progress on that and has some very insightful um, tips and just shared her journey on her, her video. So, um, with all that information and kind of figuring out how I'm going to go about determining the pre prescription for the differentials, I've been um, sort of just taking my time and um, the holdup has been that the results I'm getting that I need to use to determine the differentials are uh, potentially two different um two different things. So if I go off my centimeter measurements, which I've been taking, then my left eye is a negative three and my right eye is a negative 3.5. But if I go based off the prescription of my current glasses that I think is correct, then I'm actually negative 3.5 and negative 4.5. And that's a difference of 0.5 for the centimeters versus 1.0 for the glasses. So to determine the differentials, you can either do it based off of the, the glasses I'm wearing or the centimeters. So I'm trying to decide which ones, which one to use. Do I do it from the centimeter measurements or I do it from the current glasses? Since I don't know for sure the current glasses, I'd like to go with the centimeters. But the problem with that is that because there's a, a different ratio between my left and my right eye um, in the glasses versus the centimeters, um, it will affect how my visual cortex responds to new differential glasses. All of this sounds very complicated and it, it's, it's not that complicated if you've been taking the courses or reading the information on, uh, nmyopia.org or just, you know, taking the time to learn about it. Um, so for someone who's just starting, this sounds like a lot, but I promise it's not a lot when you're immersed in it and it makes sense as you go along. Um, but for me, I've just, you know, I want to make sure I take as good of an educated guess as possible before ordering these glasses for close-up. So um, uh, ultimately it's going to be a guess, but um, I want it to be the best guess as possible. So for now, I have been um, still keeping up with my measurements. And uh, in the meantime, I've just, you know, I really have to say I've developed more of a relationship with my eyes. I appreciate them so much more. I respect them so much more. Um, and I feel like I'm working with them instead of against them for the first time, probably since I ever found out I needed glasses. Um, I feel like I'm learning so much about more about how they work, about how my eyesight works, about, um, what I can do on my own to develop better habits to improve my vision. And these are all things that I feel like I, I didn't know or learn through my experience with my eye doctors in the past and optometrists in the past. Not to say that they were not good doctors or that they didn't care, but it's just they're not going to go and break it down and explain step by step what diopters mean, um, you know, how your vision can change depending on the time of day or whether you're stressed or not, or whether you have dry eye or not. Um, cause all of these things do affect your vision and factor into it. And I've experienced it for myself as I've been taking these measurements and using this chart back here, I've noticed how different, uh, factors affect it. And so, um, it's really exciting. And I actually feel in spite of this kind of confusing time about the differential glasses, I feel more in control and empowered than ever. Um, and I'm really having a great time with it. So, um, you know, it's worth the wait, it's worth the time and the effort. It's worth investing in learning about your eyesight, um, and your eye health. Um, so I use this thing almost every day and I love it. Um, and, uh, you know, I, 
in the meantime, I've also kind of been like, you know, trying to have some fun. I created a silly video uh, when I was experimenting, trying to figure out if I was overprescribed in my current glasses. Um, one of the ways that you can do that is, which I don't suggest doing, um, unless you know what you're doing. Um, you you know, you have your regular glasses and then you put on a pair of reading glasses um, to see, put them over and see if... <laughs> If text that you're reading, maybe 60 centimeters or so from your face, like if it's a laptop, if the text is still blurry, or no, if it's just a little bit blurry, then you're probably not overprescribed. But if it if, if it's still clear, then you're overprescribed. Um, and uh, I I pretty much have a feeling I've been overprescribed because I am able to read better than 2020 often on that eye chart in all kinds of conditions and. Um, putting on those reading glasses over my current glasses, it was still sharp for me. So, um, I have a feeling I'm going to basically go off of my centimeter results and figure out the differential prescription from there. But before I do that and press go and just bite the bullet, I am getting just a little bit more input. Um, but that will be the next step for me. So, when those differential glasses do come in, those will be the glasses that I will use for all of my computer usage, any kind of um, reading close up that's not like, you know, where I could take the glasses off, but you know, maybe within a short couple feet distance. Um, it's not going to be glasses that I can use for driving or seeing far away because it's a limited view of um, clarity, but it will help me to practice the necessary active focus to improve um, my eye muscle and my and my ability to focus. So um, in time, all of these steps will lead to reducing the glasses for distance and so on and so forth. And then eventually I will just keep reducing my prescriptions until I have virtually no prescription. So again, all of this sounds super confusing, but it's, it's really, really not. It's really an easy process. Um, it's been an amazing experience. It's, it's truly life-changing and I haven't even yet reduced my glasses power, but I know it's coming and I know it's going to happen. And I know that soon I will, um, be, uh, experiencing all of the wonders that is, um, natural vision improvement. Um, so, uh, I highly recommend it. Um, and I will put the information for the video I saw from Leah, uh, in the description below this video. And, um, I encourage everyone to check this out. I honestly, I, I just, now that I've learning, I've learned so much more and I'm in it. It's like, I'm so surprised that this isn't more talked about and that more people don't know about this. I mean, there are already a, a you know, huge amount of people that are aware and that have gone through this process and have made improvements to their vision. Um, but it's currently kind of an underground movement, I guess. It's a small, you know, group of people, but I am so convinced that this is legit. And, um, I just want to be a part of spreading this awareness that you can improve your vision. It can happen naturally. Your eyes are not broken. You're not flawed. You're not forever doomed to wearing glasses or contacts the rest of your life. You don't have to get LASIK. You like, I have developed a relationship with my eyes again, and I am so grateful for that. That is a gift right there in itself. So, um, anyway, hopefully soon I'll get those differential glasses ordered and uh, make some more progress. And until then, I will uh, just have to um, check in. And I hope that everyone is still staying, staying safe. I hope that everyone is practicing good. Um, you know, social distancing and taking care of one another and um, just uh, continuing to be compassionate. So anyways, I'll check in in the next one and see you then.